Guys, the pace of change with Garlic OS on the Ambernick RG35XX is uh, nothing short of bewildering. It's actually uh, very difficult to cover because as soon as I make a video, there's probably three more updates out that have added some big functionality. In this video, we're going to talk about an update that was just posted on the 25th of January that is adding something very, very significant. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this video is in a playlist go through this playlist, I will happily show you how to install this operating system on this little console and many other things about it. So let's get to what we're talking about here today. Added HDMI audio support. Now I wanna make it clear that this functionality works already on the stock operating system, but it wasn't functioning with Garlic OS and now it's back. This is very, very, Cool. So if you don't know, this thing actually has a mini HDMI port on the top. So you can't use a regular HDMI, it has to be a mini HDMI to a standard HDMI. But what this means is that you can take this little handheld and effectively turn it into its own little Nintendo Switch. Plug this into your television, to a monitor, or what you're about to see here in a moment, into a capture card, and now you're playing on a much larger screen. Now, of course, since I've talked about this, there are a ton of things that are happening. We're overclocking now for better performance. There's been tons of bug fixes. Lots of things have changed, and I'm just not going to have the time to go through all of these because there are so many things happening. But the HDMI out thing, something I've been asked about, something I've seen some comments about, and I can settle it now before video worked, audio did not. So we're going to show this now. The biggest thing you have to keep in mind, is that when you plug this thing in, you can't have the game already running. There is some crashiness going on there. So leave it on your main menu, plug it in, and then whenever you're done, close the game, hit your menu button to go back to the home, and then unplug it. So as long as you're not plugging it in or unplugging it when you're in the game, everything should be fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this thing in to my computer, to a capture card, and we are going to see what this looks like. And here we are sitting at our main menu. Now, of course, I do have a theme installed on mine that I've talked about on this channel already. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into our recents. We're going to fire up Fire Red Omega. And you should be hearing the audio, the music as it does play. Now, one thing that you're going to immediately notice is that this is scaling itself into a widescreen aspect ratio. Unless you've got a really weird monitor that is the same aspect ratio as this thing, which I doubt that you do, this is going to be what is going to happen. And in some games, this is not a problem at all. In other games, it may make things look a little bit weird. I find the Pokemon here actually seems okay. I can uh, turn on fast forward here and, and do whatever it is that I want to do, and everything seems to be running relatively well. There does feel like there is a slight delay, but I believe that is from my capture card. Um, if I plug it directly into a television, I think it's going to be a little bit better. So this may be a little bit of a thing that, again, cheap capture card that I'm using for this, probably not something you're going to see in general. And look, if you wanted to stream using this as your little console, you totally could now. Plug this thing into a capture card and OBS, off you go. Let's close this out and let's open up a game, though, that might be a little bit more interesting to see. It also happens to be a game that will make more sense in widescreen like this. Of course, we have Crash Bandicoot. And yeah, everything seems totally fine. Can I plug this into my TV and play this way? I think so. Again, the delay on the capture card is a little bit of a problem here. Kind of have to kind of have to think about what you're doing before you do it. But, you know, in general, this is pretty cool. I think what I need to do here to really kind of drive this home is I think I need to actually go plug it into the TV and we'll film that and we'll confirm that there is no latency that way. Okay, Crash Bandicoot on the television. Short HDMI cable, so this is not like the best thing in the world, but we're gonna load back into it and see what we got here. Oh yeah. So as you can see there, the latency problem that I was dealing with seems to just be totally gone. So that was indeed, that was indeed a problem with the capture card and not with actually doing this itself. Can you hear the audio? We're working great. And again, all you gotta do is remember, go home and then unplug it and everything should be great. So there you go, guys. The new big update for Garlic OS on the Ambernick RG35XX. Link in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to uh, Black Seraph for the continued incredible releases on this operating system. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on more content like this. And until next time, 
Stay nerdy, my friends.